Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. DC Tech Net is your own channel, so do like, share, and subscribe. It motivates us to create new content. So today I would like to share something I learned new in Windows Server 2025. And it is specifically related to in place upgrade. So upgrading to Windows Server 2025. So beginning with Windows Server 2025, we can now perform an in place upgrade up to four earlier versions of Windows servers. So what do you mean by it? So we can perform an in-place upgrade to Windows Server 2025 right from Windows Server 2012 R2 and later. So let's have a look at the Windows Server in-place upgrade chart. So let's start with 2012. So we can perform an in-place upgrade of 2012 to 2012 R2 and 2016 but we won't be able to perform an in-place upgrade to 19, 22 or 25. For 2012 R2 we can perform an in-place upgrade to 2016, 2019 but it doesn't support an in-place upgrade to 2022 but it supports an in-place upgrade to 2025. And uh, Windows Server 2016, 19, and 2022 definitely supports in place upgrade to 2025. So, the big advantage over here is we can perform an in place upgrade directly from 2012 R2 to 2025. So what is the advantage for people like us, the IT admins? Let's say uh, our organization is still on 2012 R2 and as everyone knows 2012 R2 is end of already end of life last year say in the month of October 2023 was the last month support. Now our organization wants our IT the all the servers to be on Windows Server 2022. This is the latest and the greatest one. So we won't be able to perform an in-place upgrade from Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2022. What we need to do is we need to first upgrade to 2016 or 19 and then move to then upgrade those to say 16 or 19 to 2022 but after the introduction of 2025 we can directly upgrade 2012 R2 to 2025 so we can skip one step in between of upgrading to 16 or 19 then 2022 either we can say directly upgrade to 2025 so what's the big deal man so it simplified maintenance so it admins can upgrade servers directly to windows server 2025 without managing say, multi, say multiple interim steps reducing administrative overheads streamlined planning the ability to upgrade say up to four earlier versions allows for more straightforward planning and execution of upgrade projects improved efficiency admins can save time by avoiding fresh installation and migrations say focusing instead on optimizing server performance and management 
reduced downtime so in place upgrades minimizes service disruptions allowing admins to maintain productivity during the upgrade process seamless configuration retentions so admins can benefit from retaining the roles features and settings reducing post upgradation troubleshooting and configuration faster issue resolution with fewer steps in upgrade process it admins can quickly address compatibility or performance issues ensuring a smooth transition so these are say some of the advantages of say upgrading and an, an older version of operating system to 2025 directly and there is an exciting news over here and the news is windows server 2025 is released now on the 1st of november 2024 so it's already in the market now so i would highly recommend you to so go to the microsoft evaluation center download your own copy of windows server 2025 either an iso file or a vsd image and just play with it explore it perform some upgrades some downgrades install some applications and uh, test it in your sandbox environment so let's summarize what we have seen today so microsoft's new in place upgrade feature in windows server 2025 is a significant advancement it seamlessly allows it admins like us to upgrade servers from say up to four earlier versions reducing complexity and saving time this announcement demonstrates microsoft's commitment to simplifying server management and improving it efficiency so hope you have learned something new today and you have enjoyed today's session so if you hope this channel is helping you to learn anything new do like share and subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day take care